Hey, Merry Christmas. This Merry is probably Christmas. after Christmas for you. It's Christmas Eve for us here. You'll probably get this maybe in the new year. So I hope you had great festive holidays. We are in a magical, magical spot. Look at the backdrop. Wow. <laughs> So we're on the hunt for an epic beach camp in the Cape Barry National Park. I believe this is called the Yokina Bay. And the beach run went so smoothly. We are at the very end. Now we just need to find a perfect campsite. So we'll take you along. So we came here oh. once like two years ago. We never filmed it. <laughs> well, I timed the tide really badly and the entire beach was off camber. And it really, it was one of our most stressful times <laughs> in Bowers. I had to turn back about halfway we almost could have lost the truck in the ocean oh, okay. so there are some insane side. sand dunes behind us so we'll try and get some perspective from in the air we're going to carry along and uh, so far the beach has been magical to drive on yeah Nice and level. What a beautiful spot. Check this out. It's got this awesome rocky headland here and that is blocking to a degree the easterly coming in from here. But the wind has definitely picked up. You might be able to see there's some white caps out here. This is meant to be the best day out of the next two or three. So we'll make the most of it not being too destroyed by the wind. Tinny out there getting smashed by swell. Yeah, awesome spot there is about four different beaches we finally came this is the last one bowser crushed the beach there was no stage there where i was worried that we would get bogged at all uh, whereas last time man really scary for christmas eve it's surprisingly quiet that's one awesome thing about the the south coast here of wa is if you find you can find some beaches that there's just no one at so we're very lucky 
So we decided to go on a little walk on the other side of those big rocks surrounding our camp. Looks like you can actually reach by this four-wheel drive track another hey, bear. Oh my god, what is this? What? That would pop our tire. Oh jeez. That's a steel stake. That's popped tires before. No way. Man, that's bad. <laughs> Who's put that there? What could I do? So people don't drive over it. Should try to find a big rock. I suppose I could put an X there. Well, it's as good as we can do with what we have. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that'll save <laughs> someone's tire. That's crazy. So we're just walking on the other side to see potentially if it's worth going to the other bay tomorrow. For now, we've got a really good, nice campsite on this bay, but it is quite exposed. So yeah, we see how we go, but yeah, that's a really nice condition. The weather is perfect. Esperanza has been actually really cold the past two weeks. So like today is actually nice and warm, which is a nice yeah. change. Well, a little man is having the time of his life. He was definitely not really happy when we came, which we got a bit worried. But I think it just was maybe a bit too cooked up. There was a lot of driving and I guess like time we took to film this morning. So yeah, he's definitely happy now that we are outdoors, which is great. I think that's something that someone asked in the recent videos. Is your lifestyle has changed with Oakley? And in fact, I would say that not our lifestyle hasn't changed. We're still doing what we like to do. We still going out there we're still in the bush we're still in the outdoors and trying to offer as much as we can but now we just have to yeah keep in mind obviously Oakley's needs are more important we need to stop more often we obviously have to change him fit him make sure all his primary needs are met i guess and then all the rest like it goes the same <laughs> whoa <laughs> and i guess now we can't necessarily do everything Chris and I at the same time so we used to be able to train together or like go snorkeling together obviously now we've got all clear so we have to take turns but I think that's why having one child is manageable with our lifestyle because we can take turns and if we need some time for ourselves we can do it so yeah so far it's obviously we made some compromises but I'm really happy that we've got a little family and really happy to be here for Christmas yeah, first Christmas the three of us. It's, it's quite emotional really, but this little man is doing so good. <laughs> Yay! Breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in. Here we go. Now you get the bottle for the babies, not the ginger beer. Not You're the gonna ginger cheers. Beer. Like, look. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers, Oaks. Dunk. Merry Christmas, everyone. Our first Christmas as a family of three, which is uh, looking like this. Um, like, the reality is uh, we're inside, it's blowing a gale outside, but that's fine. That's all we wanted. Just be on a secluded beach, the three of us. <coughs> Have a nice ginger beer, some good food. It's crazy to think that last year, or last Christmas, just the two of us, I was still pregnant with Oakley. We were on the Keppel Island, so that was our last boat mission that we had done for the year. And that was after the, the finger incident from Cray, so like we had a total difference. Was it a year? It was a year ago. That's Jeez, crazy. lots happened in a year. <laughs> Bring on next year. All right, that's us for today. See you tomorrow.
mama bear and baby bear are having a little nap and she had a really bad night's sleep last night oakley woke up on the hour every hour she's had a rough night rougher than i have so they're having a little nap ski and i'm gonna go for a little jog i've already been once down the beach and back and uh, they're still having a nap so you know what i thought i'd have a little chat to you guys even though it might be a bit of a bumpy ride. A little bit of Christmas fitness, maybe a little bit of motivation. Look, it's pretty rich coming from me, right? So I'm probably physically the weakest I've been in a decade, which doesn't feel good mentally. I'm keeping relatively mobile and I'm trying to do some stuff. I'm definitely not doing as much as I could be, but you know what? It's okay, I've come to accept that. I'm never gonna be at the level where I was training in Sydney. I was the fittest and strongest I've ever been. With our lifestyle, that may, I may never get back to that point again, but I've sort of just come to kind of respect that. I mean, I was a gym rat since I was 16 years old. I've put thousands of hours in the gym and then that chapter has closed I'm at a new chapter where I don't want to be stuck in a gym. I want to be outdoors. I want to be enjoying life in a different way. And I need to find a way where I can maintain my structural and mental integrity without it soaking up all my time. So here we are. We're on what could arguably be one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Just going for a little jog. I don't have my music in, haven't brought my phone. I'm not logging this jog on Strava, which is a very good app by the way, because it's not about what I'm doing today or how much I'm doing today. It's about keeping active. And a huge part of that for me is keeping this guy healthy and healthy in here. And for me, that's something like this, you know, I'm out of breath, but still feels good. It hurts my feet because the sand is like concrete. But how it still feels damn good. And I've got a smile on my face. And that's something I would love to, so would Ange, start trying to bring more into the videos. Because a huge part of Ange and mine happiness comes from doing stuff like this. Keeping active, pushing the body, getting that heart rate up. Plus, you don't feel so guilty if you have a little Christmas marshmallow Santa afterwards, which is exactly where I'll be going. I'm going to do some incline push-ups on a rock and talk to you after that. All right, let's see if we can get 30. Incline. <laughs> 30. <coughs> oh, we. 85 so far today. So it's better than nothing, right? Gosh, this is beautiful. This makes me want to go for a dive so much. But for instance, I was using my regular diving. That was my cardiovascular fitness. So because I was doing all of that, I then wouldn't go running very much. And then I'd focus on doing two workouts a week. What I want to say today is just be kind to yourself. Don't underestimate the power of just getting active. Try and create a mindset where you know each week you need to be doing something and it doesn't have to be much it can just be a walk in the park literally a walk in the park and then you're going to gradually build up a tolerance to it you're going to build up the enjoyment you're going to be wanting it because your brain permanently changes under fitness it's been proven time and time again your brain permanently changes for the better obviously your disease risk goes down you feel better I'm not even going to go into the benefits. I'm sure you know a lot of them. Let's go for a run back to the truck. See if the team's awake. And for those of you who are sleep deprived, time deprived, and energy deprived, please trust me. I promise you, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but expending energy like this builds energy. The rest of the day, I will have more energy than if I didn't do this. And that sounds like complete woo-woo. I'm not pulling your leg. 
expending energy creates energy. I will now no longer feel sleepy. I may not need a mid-morning coffee. It's just, yeah, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I think I'm being filmed. <laughs> Someone's sneaky filming me. Hello. How do you feel, my love? Well, I feel a lot lazier seeing you run <laughs> and okay. me going for a nap. I told our viewers you had a much worse sleep than I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what we wish for Christmas was some sleep. We didn't get it, but that's okay. We were singing together, all <laughs> I, I want, want for Christmas, Christmas is sleep. sleep. And we did not get it. <laughs> Santa did not come last night, but he brought snow. The ultra snow. Our favorite type of snow. <laughs> Squeaky <laughs> snow. We're going to miss that kind of snow. Okay. We're gonna miss it. But, oh yeah. Um, we I don't know if you talked about it, but we had an amazing morning, like such probably the most memorable Christmas I've ever had. Mm. Just so simple, like yeah. just the little things, just having a breakfast outside, all the three of us just playing, being silly in the sand, seeing ugly, being so nice. happy. So like nice. it, it was like so I'm sweaty. I had no expectation that's all right. <laughs> I'm like already covered with food, with sand, like we don't care. So now the plan is to drive yonder. See that car there? There's a track going that way. And that goes to another beach that we checked out yesterday. So we're going to drive that way and look for another campsite for tonight. The wind is meant to howl today, but right now it is really, really good. Oh, it's so beautiful. So we'll make the most of it, see if we can find another spectacular campsite and we'll bring you guys along. We couldn't find a better spot. Wow! We did! So cool! <laughs> Whoa! There's the wind. Look behind. There's, we've got a little river. River, some mountains. The track was a little bit narrow as you would have seen a drone footage. Um, we had a little banks here that uh, did a few new scratches to the track. But that's okay, it's not a big tree at least. Not no, like not at all. Branches. We've got a hitchhiker up there. <laughs> We've got another branch at the I'll top. Pull him off. Tires, what did we drop them to yesterday? 30 in the rear and 25 in the front, but that was when they were hot and now they look too low. So <laughs> they look really low. Now they're cold. So um, I think I'm going to have to check them and maybe put 5 psi in all of them because I don't want to um, spin the tubes or anything. Yeah, but no. they've been great. We've not at any stage felt like we're getting bogged down yeah there so. was a really good pressure for like self sand so we don't usually go that low but yeah just in case for sand we'd rather i had ptsd off that beach from last time so <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't taking any chances all right let's settle in and have a nice christmas day yay good morning so it's the day after christmas 
as you can see the weather is a lot different today not as windy so far but it's very cloudy so we've actually decided to go not because of the weather but mostly Oakley is actually not doing so good especially last night it was really not really happy we're not too sure exactly so we're not too worried but just for precaution we've decided to head back because the problem with this spot is right now we are trapped by the tide so let's say for an emergency if we had to leave overnight we could but that would be quite dangerous there would be a risk of potentially getting bogged because the tide at night time is much higher was in the morning is almost non-existent so that's where we're gonna go but we're so happy that we came here it's a stunning spot definitely recommend Cape Arid if you come to Esperance because you don't need to book you can just come here there's just so much space it's the ideal spot so yeah we'll miss it definitely we we're still gonna check out lots of places around Esperance but yeah this one is really special so they won't do any filming coming back we'll just steam steam along unless something happens along the way hopefully not and uh, we'll see you at the next beach destination made it finally leveled the track and we are back to one of our favorite spot here in the How good. so good so it has actually been about two weeks <laughs> since we last saw you uh when we were in cape arid yeah proper break from youtube <laughs> yeah so mostly because the weather has been atrocious down this way which we didn't expect yeah uh, obviously weird. holiday periods are very very busy and we have been planning and scheming yes i guess and working very time consuming on the new uh vehicle <laughs> build overseas so yeah we've had our uh, we've yeah we've had our work cut out for us so far but finally we've got a really nice Good day weather, we've literally so, had yeah. maybe three nice days out of two weeks so, so look at this, this. Is awesome. it's so a we're perfect day back in boat harbor which we've been to a couple of times now and it is stunning yeah if you it's remember beautiful. that was one of our shakedown trip with the mug and you didn't crack out to plan that was after that leak but you know it's good oh, to come back right. oh, <laughs> to come back in much better spirits we've got a little ugly boy and yeah, we are looking forward to just chilling here today, taking you along, showing you a bit of run as well, because it's stunning, you should definitely come here. Last time I dove on the other side and, and shot a squid with a spear gun. So we'll walk around and see what it's like, uh, what the swell is doing, but there's no wind. So if I'm gonna get in for a spear, it would be today. It might be the last spear fishing mission, potentially one of the last camping mission in the mug. We don't know. Like I it's... know there are halibut in Norway. Oh, okay. So maybe I should bring my uh, spearfishing gear overseas. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the mug just right here. And right at a doorstep, we've got this beautiful pool. Looks amazing. Looks bloody inviting, doesn't it? 
So the plan is I'm going to do a quick workout this morning. Chris trained yesterday. So today is my turn. We'll try to kind of like take turn like this. And I'm going to do a little run warm up on the beach and then come back to the truck and do a little Tabata workout. I'll explain a little bit more about that. And I guess you're going to guys uh, play We're going to play on the, on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so as you can see, it's getting quite busy on the beach, so I had to run back and forth in front of a lot of people, which reminded me that a long time ago, I had a, someone who asked me a question on Instagram, how do you overcome the fact that it gets sometimes a bit awkward, or are you never embarrassed to train in front of people? And to be honest, the more you do it, the less you care. You just have to act confident and people would not question you as much. It's a bit of a weird thing, but if they do judge you or look at you weird, it's more a reflection on themselves, in my opinion, like to want to get healthier and fitter. It should not be a bad thing. And sometimes I guess you, you may get some weird looks, but you, just do it, just get it done and just don't care. Like we train more and more in public nowadays with Chris because we do it at playgrounds when Oakley plays. And yeah, we get a lot of people looking at us, but in my opinion, I'm hoping I can inspire people just maybe to get moving a little bit more. At least that's what I tell myself. So yeah, I'm going to do my little workout now. I'll get set up and I uh, go and explain what it is. All right, so the key for me, number one, is to have some wireless headphones with some good music. We've uh, actually subscribed to Spotify Premium so we can have new music every time. So an offline, which I find is really good. Then is to get an app, which is a heat trainer app. I'll put on the screen with the one I've got. Any app, I'm sure there's like a lot more where you can put a timer so that you know exactly you don't have to have a look at your phone. A Tabata workout, basically it's a four minute circuit which consists of eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So it's kind of like a high intensity and I find when you're short on time and you want to get something done quite quickly, which I am today, I just want to kind of enjoy my time with Chris and Oakley and go and swim because it's such good weather. I'm just going to do a really quick workout. I'm not even too sure how many runs I'm going to do. I'll put on the screen the exercise I'm going to do. So that's my tip for this video in terms of fitness. Do a Tabata workout and that's the best way to, to get it done just nice and fast. So I can't swim. <laughs> the boys are looking like they're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Hour of beach time. <laughs> Mama's going for a swim. You've had enough of the beach now, huh? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna miss. The Australian beach, that's for sure. I don't think we're gonna be able to find anything like this in Europe. I mean, yeah, there might be some countries, but I think it's gonna be hard to beat it. So using my Nike Stand Free Beach Towel. It's been amazing this summer to use it. Ah, oh, such a good size. I like the little pocket that it comes with. And it's quick dry, made of recycled plastic bottle. And Nike, as always, they plan for trees for every product purchase. So amazing company to support. Hello, guy. How are you? This boy's Sandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, back to the truck. Uh, yeah, should we, um, should we strip him off, get him uh, <laughs> nice and clean, <laughs> and then that'll save some work back up there. Sounds good. <laughs> So unfortunately the weather did a very quick turnaround. It went from being absolutely pristine to not so nice at all. So the wind's really picked up, it's choppy. The temperature's dropped maybe 10 degrees. So we are back inside. Oakley had another little play on the beach. 
watching a little bit of Miss Rachel, aren't you, buddy? She's our favourite. Learning some stuff. And she's decided to become Hindu. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I made the mistake of putting this on my forehead with when I was playing with Oak. It's kind of like a... It's a spinner. A suction cup thing. On, and I don't know, so I <laughs> did it with a mug on my forehead. And it doesn't go away. Oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done with you, boy? And I am cooking parrotfish for dinner. So I've just got that in a bag with some seasoning. That's going to go on some olive oil. And then we've got some mango pieces that were frozen and some coconut chili and lemongrass rice. So we're going to mix that all up. We've still got... Still got one, two, three, four... Four bags of fish still left. Oh my gosh. We've really been like stretching it. Yeah, like we've done Dirk. so well. That's all the fish from Dirk. Actually, we had two of the slimy cod from Exmouth. We had some really nice curry that Ange Yeah, yellow, yellow Thai curry, which actually was, was beautiful. A little bit spicy. Not too bad. Didn't actually hide the flavor of the fish because fish actually turned out to be really nice. We were worried because it had been frozen for a little while yeah, that it would have gone bad. a bit like slimy and smelly, but no, it was good. So if you get one of those slimy yellow spotted rock cods, <laughs> they work really well in a Thai yellow curry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to start cooking up now. Early dinner. It's only 5.30. <laughs> uh, this guy life. is going to be tired pretty soon. We've done a little bit more research and work towards the build in Europe. So the next video you'll see from us will be a one based Long around the day. Volvo. And the build we're at at the moment, the transport, uh, some of the nitty gritty and the finer points about the build already, which is kind of underway. So we'll see you on the next one. And this may be the last of the... Like proper adventure. I'm Bowser sure Adventures, so. yeah. So that's a bit sad, but we basically need to go back to Perth soon and start organizing some paperwork and a few bits and pieces. This guy needs oh. uh, some more immunizations. So we don't want to be doing that overseas if we can help it. And yeah, so just quite a bit to do and it's all coming up very fast. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, guys. Yeah, the excitement on the reveal of the Volvo episode got us really pumped. So yeah, thank you and yeah. uh, stick with us. Yeah, because soon there's going to be weekly build videos. We'll be back to filming a lot. So yeah, we, we're getting there. We, we're winding up. We're winding up. So cheerio. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.